At first I said that I love you and you ain't say that shit back It's kinda hard to just trust you when both your feelings don't match Got me showing less emotions, I don't wanna get attached Once I give you my word, I swear it ain't no going back Once I give you my heart, you better keep that shit intact it is Monday, July 4th. Happy 4th of July, everyone. I just got back from the gym and I have red, white, and blue on. Anywho, I am walking out in the scorching hot sun to show you what we have prepped for tomorrow. So tomorrow's Tuesday. It's when the barn stuff's going to start. I'm not exactly sure what's going to start, but we finally got all the permission and plans and all that stuff, which took, I swear, like at least a year insane we live in an equestrian area like the whole um city of where i live is an equestrian area and we live on an equestrian road yet they make it so hard to build a barn anyway we had so many different things at first it was gonna be on the side of the house and then we had to move it because the septic tank and now it had to have a whole separate septic tank and all that kind of stuff but we also have a dog who likes to escape, so we've had to do some makeshift stuff. We've My dad took down the fence because we're gonna have to take it down, put up a silk fence, which is basically what you see on construction sites all the time to stop mud running everywhere. And also to show that it's like a construction site and it's dangerous. Um, so they'll be putting that down tomorrow, I believe but let me show you the fence. So my dad took some of the fencing and like put it across here so that the dog cannot get out of this area because this is like our actual backyard. And then this is our backfield. So as you can see, all this has been taken out. These posts just need to come out, which I believe our neighbor is coming to bring his tractor and take them out. So that's the plan. As you can see, we have this massive field it goes all the way there and all the way back. You can't even see. So the barn's going to be like up in this area, like right in the middle. And then we will put pastures all the way down the sides and in the back. And we also have pastures in the front. I wanted to do a complete before because I am going to keep making these videos of updates. Um, I don't know when this one will come out because like I said, I don't know if that much is going to happen. I think they're just going to dig up some of the ground. But in like several months when you see a barn here I'm sure this will be the before video okay i'm going back inside because it's like 90 degrees already in 90 percent humidity so i will see you all tomorrow when we hopefully have broken ground Hello guys, it is July Sunday 17th. I'm gonna walk this way. Um, I have been on vacation for the past week and I had said like a week ago before that um, they were supposed to come in and put like the silk fencing, which is basically what you put up when you're gonna build something like a house or a barn or a shed or anything like that. So that when it rains, it stops the mud sliding. But then that week we literally had monsoons in Atlanta like all week I swear where it was flooding and so if you know anything about construction it doesn't really work in the rain so that got pushed back pushed back pushed back I think it's about two weeks later now and we finally have some silk fencing up so let me show you and also just for anyone wondering this is what the building process is like we got our barn plans I want to say a year and a half ago and it's taken us I don't know, eight months or something to get all the permits. It's insane. Like we've been working, working. I keep getting questions about the barn. When's it coming? Are you building? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, guys, I'm trying, even though even in my head, I feel like nothing has been done, but a lot has been done. There's a lot of permits, all that kind of stuff to get done, um, but you can't see it. So it's kind of annoying. So they put like this black one here, which I'm pretty sure is what actually stops like mud from running. And then they put this here so that like, you know things can't get in it if we put a horse back here for whatever reason not that we're going to because obviously this is dangerous i guess they put that there so that um it couldn't like, get over it but it goes all the way down i will speak to you when they start doing stuff the first thing they have to do i don't know if you can tell but this is a big hill and behind here there's a driveway they're gonna dig all that up and they're gonna even all out because we're gonna have a specific driveway that comes into the barn so when you're you know bringing trailers and stuff in it comes through this way 
and also that way like in the front of the barn we can have like plants and like make it look nice so they've got to flatten this out i don't even this is like the angle <laughs> Hello guys, it is Wednesday, July 20th. Now, they are not moving all the dirt, which I found out is what's called grading. They're not doing that today, but my neighbor, who is a super, super nice older man, I sometimes go and take care of his horse as well as out of town. He is helping us out by, he brought his tractor over here and is ripping out the post of the fence that needs to go rather than us having to pay someone to do it. So we're gonna go film that. It is Tuesday, July 26. It's 8.45 a.m. And look what is in my backyard. The diggers here. They are bringing the equipment in and they are about to break ground is what I've heard. They're going to start digging today. I am sitting up in my parents' room watching. Okay, everybody it is now Sunday July 31st we are at the end of July and most of the grading is done they have a little bit more to do because the barn is actually gonna be bigger than we anticipated just because of like the wash rack and all blah 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 anyway um, I figured I would close out this video by showing you kind of what's done. So basically, obviously you saw us take out the fence, you saw us put up the construction like silk fence, and then taking out the vegetable patch that was here. There's no vegetables or anything in it. It was just like a rotten one from the previous owners and all the stones and stuff. And then we had to remove a lot of dirt, as you can see by the wall of dirt over there. And flatten it out so we can put concrete down and then that extra dirt we're putting over here because there's a big dip in here with a little gravel driveway and we're going to pave it to be an actual driveway so that like trailers and stuff can come in here and you have area to turn around and we'll have a little you know front part of the barn with trees and flowers and make it look really presentable but anyway this is the end of part one of building my dream barn thank you all so much for watching don't forget to subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up a lot of you who watch my videos aren't subscribed because I can see on the analytics how many people who watch my videos are subscribed and how many people are not and I know when you're watching YouTube you see my things come up and you recommend it anyway but subscribing helps me out a lot so I'd really appreciate it if you would subscribe anyway thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all very soon bye yeah. Two strong-minded individuals. What happen when y'all both reach the pinnacle? Things start to get physical. What make it worse?